Um, my experiences um, with interactive technologies have been pretty limited. Um, I had one teacher in high school who had an interactive whiteboard, um, which he used, but we weren't allowed to use it. Um, he was too afraid of it breaking since it was expensive and he purchased it. It wasn't the school that bought it for him. Um, he was afraid of it breaking so he wouldn't let us use it. Um, so it remained pretty much useless um, in comparison to a standard projector, uh, other than that it was fancy and I knew that it, it was capable of doing other things. Um, but we were never able to, you know, really get the full extent of that technology under our belts. Um, the rendition of interactive whiteboards that I liked the most, um, that was kind of a hard choice. I was deciding between the Promethean 500 and uh, e-instruction touchboard plus. Uh, with Promethean, collaboration is easier because up to four people can use it as once, uh, sorry, at once, uh, which I think is an incredibly useful tool um, to promote, promote um, collaboration and um, teamwork. Um, however, I think the Touchboard Plus would be more affordable and uh, practical because it offers plenty of interactive software and it is also portable, um, which is a huge thing because your school may actually pay for it uh, because it can be put away when needed and it can also be transported and shared with other classrooms. So you wouldn't necessarily need one for each classroom. It could be installed and transported elsewhere. Um, the interactive app that I kind of liked the most was Seesaw. I think it looked really cool because it helps take the pressure off of the necessity of memorizing content. Um, instead, the students stay engaged by creating collections of photos and videos uh, which are easy to go back to review and study. Um, so you don't have to focus on rushing to write everything down from the lecture and memorizing it when you can take pictures of it and review it later. Um, saves a lot of time on handwritten notes. Uh, if I could choose just one of these technologies for my future classroom, um, I would probably choose an interactive whiteboard. Um, it pretty much serves as a projector and also a board that students can all collaborate on, uh, which implements teamwork and socialization. Um, it would be the most effective way to get students out of their seats and engaged into conversation and activities. Um, however, I also really like clickers. I like the idea of using uh, clickers to continually assess learning uh, during lectures and class periods. Um, they're they assess in real time uh, to make sure students are understanding the material as you go rather than teach all the material and test their memory. Um, you assess as you go so that it, that memory, the information kind of gets lodged in their brains in the way that you want it to. Um, it also lets you know what concepts and areas students are struggling with um, as a whole so that you can spend more time explaining that as it comes up in lecture rather than reviewing it later. Um, I think if I were to do this, uh, results would be positive in almost any circumstance that clickers are involved. Um, they may help students learn or they may not make a difference at all. Um, however, I would be skeptical to believe that they have any negative effect on a student's learning. So when using clickers, a student may either um, benefit from it or they may just simply enjoy it. Like it might not make a difference um, in their scores their uh, academic scores in general, but they, it's not going to hinder them. It's not going to make their uh, scores decrease or reverse. So I don't really see a downside in using clickers. I think they're a really good idea and um, great technology.